Hello, beautiful people. How are you today? Um, I have been doing some research on the vector. I found out some pretty interesting stuff and why the satanic witches who are so bent on keeping the world in darkness and keeping us out of balance with love, why they worship this thing and why it's on the logo of NASA and all of the aeronautical space organizations worldwide from Japan, China, Russia, space organizations, they all have vectors on them. Um, I recently saw this in another video where they pointed out that they were worshiping um, vector and its vector symbolism, vector this, vector that. But what they failed to do is actually explain to people what a vector is. So, I'm going to read some things um, that I found out about the vector, which should open your mind um, exactly to what and how they've been using this um, form of science and mathematics um, against us, uh, like humanity, for a very long time, and this is why they covet it and worship it. Now, several articles were published in the medical journal, The Lancet, and discuss how rapid changes in land use, trade, globalization, and social upheaval are causing a resurgence of zoonotic disease across the world. Now, recent to early 2014 warned that the human activities are spreading vector-borne zoonotic diseases. The World Health Organization, who states that control and prevention of the vector-borne diseases are emphasizing integrated vector management, which is an approach that looks at the links between health and environment, optimizing benefits to both. World Health Organizations and Vector-Borne Diseases, the World Health Organization, who states that control and prevention of the vector-borne disease are emphasizing integrated vector management, which is an approach that looks at the links between health and the environment, optimizing the benefits for both. Now, I read that twice because I want you to understand that this is very important. Now, these witches, Freemasons, occultists, they have an agenda, a plan, Agenda 21, that is world depopulation, where they have actually tricked the world with the United Nations and their other Nazi-ish eugenic organizations and lied and started poisoning the world and saying, well, overpopulation, we need to depopulate or it's going to be crowded on the earth and we need to put the earth before humanity and it's all lies. This is all their ruse to just, you know, kill people. That's all to justify killing people. So I want you to understand the last statement that I read um, and how they're using vector-borne diseases to just kill people with Nazi eugenics because it's um, very prevalent in, in vaccines. So, here we go again. In April 2014, we launched a campaign called Small Bite big threat to induce people about vector-borne illnesses who issued reports indicating that vector-borne illnesses 
after poor people, especially poor people living in the areas that do not have adequate levels of sanitation, drinking water, and housing. Now, I want you to understand that the Nazi warlock witches, Freemasons, they consider the world unfit. They consider themselves gods and the right to just go in and stomp out life. This has been proven time and time again with Columbus and the Indians. Um, even you can look at Brazil right now and they have the World Cup and it's so much money and still it's so poor. Does it make any sense? I mean, Brazil is the most beautiful country with resources beyond your belief, just like Africa. But then you have these Nazi European corporations going in there, putting in their presidents and dictators, and making sure that the country stays poor and the people are just being killed off and they don't care. So again, this, this is, uh, I guess, vectorism. What they, what they call it, or what I call it. I haven't really heard the word victimism, I just kind of made it up, but that's basically what it sounds like, evil victimism. Because you gotta understand the vector is neither evil or good, it's a science and it's what it is used for and this is what these people have, are using it for. So, vector-borne is genetic diseases and human activity. Really, really research that people and understand what they've actually done. Okay, vector, molecular biology. In molecular cloning, a vector is a DNA molecule used as a vehicle to artificially carry foreign genetic material into another cell where it can be replicated and or expressed. A vector containing foreign DNA is termed recombinant DNA. The four major types of vectors are plasmids, viral vectors, cosmids, and artificial chromosomes. Common to all engineered vectors are an origin of replication, a multi-cloning site, and a selectable maker. The vector itself is generally a DNA sequence that consists of an insert, a transgene and a larger sequence that services as a backbone of the vector. The purpose of a vector which transfers genetic information to another cell is typically to isolate, multiply, and express the insert in the target cell. Vectors called expression vectors, expression constructs, especially are for the expression of the transgene in the target cell and generally have a promoter sequence that drives expression of the transgene. Simpler vectors called transcription vectors are only capable of being transcribed but not translated. They can be replicated in a target cell but not expressed until expression vectors, transcript vectors are used to apply their insert. Now, I want you people to understand exactly what I just said. If you are familiar with the, you know, New World Order trans human movement and their robotic movement and the cloning movement and 
the reprogramming of human DNA literally at a molecular level through Wi-Fi and cell phones and whatever else they choose to use like silent sound and other things and actually using vectors um, and putting digital curses on them and then having them enter your cells and reprogramming your cells and making them do things that they're not supposed to do and all kinds of crazy stuff. This is what I just explained. So this is actual proof I want you to know that this is the science of it. I've never heard or seen a video where anybody's actually broken it down like this and, and help people actually put their heads around the actual science of the, the vectorism. So uh, I hope this gives you a more clearer picture of what's going on and why they have all the vector worship and all the space programs. Because this is what they're doing. And this is the science of, of how they're manipulating our DNA how they have been manipulating our DNA and using vector science to do it. It is their, I guess, their gateway to what they think is, is immortality and being God, but the fact of the matter is um, they need to realize one thing. Once people become aware of this and start creating vector science where they're not using a vector for disease and destroying the human um, body and cells and reprogramming them and making them do things that they're not supposed to do they're done but for the most part I, have, I haven't seen anyone even you know touch base on vectorism except for I guess one film and it's, it's basically just left into the science world and it's very hush hush so let me continue reading a vector in computing specifically when talking about miscellaneous codes, malicious codes, such as viruses or worms, is the method that this code uses to propagate itself or infect the computer. This sense is similar to a derived from its meaning in biology. So I want you people to understand even the vector science is being used in your computers. More than likely through Facebook and all the social networking and it's, it's their hackers base of information gathering. The basis of, you know, a virus or the virus worms is vector science. So again, now you can get a clear picture why the vector is on the Nazi NASA's um, logo and all the aeronautical space programs because they're basically hacking into everybody and you need to understand that everybody wants to rule space. How are you going to rule space? Information rules the world. So the person that has the most information rules it all. And so this is this is the big struggle, this is the war. I mean, the Nazis are nothing but thieves. They have no intellect, they have no history, and their history is built upon stealing things. And so they use vector viruses to steal, literally steal things from your mind with Wi-Fi and satellite, and then they incorporate the whole um, vector genome sequence, and then incorporate the virus worm sequence, and then and then incorporate the um, the actual genetic vector virus and combine it into one, and have this whole crazy sequence where you know they actually inject you with a sickness, but it's being controlled by a computer. A computer virus and it's just insane and it's just taking whatever it wants from you and reprogramming your cells and you, you have no clue about what's going on this is the transhuman agenda and this is what these Nazis 
witches and warlocks and Freemasons covet, and this is what they're using on humanity. So let me um, continue reading. So common vectors. Vector mathematics and physics. It has been suggested that some portions of this article be split into a new article titled List of Vectors. Quantities. Please discuss this on the article's top page contents. So there's vectors, which is one. Vector fields. Vector space. Vector spaces. Manipulation of vectors, fields, and spaces. Other uses in mathematics and physics. External links and see also other uses and forms of vectors. Many special instances of general disinformation trying to discredit what people know and what people do. I want you to understand that they go through extreme, extreme, extreme amounts of money and trouble to keep people from just understanding this. So many special instances of general definitions of vector as an element of a vector space are listed below. Equality vector, a geometric entry endowed with magnitude and direction as well as a positive definite inner product, an element of the Euclidean vector space. In physics, Euclidean vectors are used to represent physical quantities that have both magnitude and direction, such as force, in contrast to scalar quantities which have no direction. Vector product or cross product and operation on two vectors in three dimensional Euclidean space, producing a third three dimensional Euclidean vector, Burger's vector, a vector that represents the magnitude and direction of the latest distortion of disclination in a crystal. <clears throat> Excuse me. Latest. Laplace runs lens vector, a vector used chiefly to describe the shape and orientation of the orbit of one astronomical body around another. Normal vector or surface normal a vector that is perpendicular to a hypersurface at a point. An element of a vector space basis vector. One of a set of vectors, a basis, that in linear combination can represent every vector in a given vector space. Coordinate vector in linear algebra. An <clears throat> explicit representation of an element of any abstract vector space, row vector or column vector, a one-dimensional matrix often representing the solution of a system of linear equations. An element of the real coordinate space Rn random vector or multivariate random variable. In statistics, a set of real value 
random variables that may be <coughs> correlated. Vector projection, also known as vector resolute or vector component, a linear mapping producing a vector parallel to the second vector. The vector part of the quantinian, a mathematical entity, which one possible generalization of a vector, null vector, a vector whose magnitude is zero, position vector, a vector representing the position of a point in a affine space in relation to reference point displacement vector, a vector that specifies the change in position of a point relative to the previous position gradient vector, the vector giving the magnitude and direction of maximum increase of the scalar field. Pointing vector in physics, a vector representing the energy flux destiny of an electromagnetic field, wave vector, a vector representing the local phase evolution of a wave, tangent vector, an element of tangent space of a curve, a surface, or more generally, a definitional manifold at a given point. Um, now I want you to realize the last, um, the, the tangent vector, that's basically NASA's logo, what I just described, I'll read it again. The tangent vector, an element of a tangent space of a curve, a surface, or more generally, a differential manifold at a given point. So what it's actually explaining is the seven, the number seven, or the check how it makes a curve or direct angle when you make the seven. So that's what a tangent vector is. This is why you see the number seven um, so prevalent in so many um, of the logos in the space programs across the world. So anyway, let's continue reading. The books vector and it's the box D A R B O U X, which it's French, the box vector, the aerial velocity vector of the finite frame of the space curve. Again, the NASA logo. So if you know about the French and the Nazis and the French intelligence space program and the Stargate French space program, which the Rothschilds um, pretty much did run France and they did have, own more property in France than the Frenchmen. Um, I know this is changing, but France is basically, you know, little Rothschild war was. So I want you to understand the de Bourg's vector. Um, the real velocity vector of the frenet frame of a space curve. So again, I'm very well versed in French intelligence. I actually did some things with the French, which I won't really disclose right now. But respects to the legionnaires. Anyway, four vector in the theory of relativity a vector in a four-dimensional real vector space called mini Minikowski space. Interval vector, a musical set theory, an array that expresses the intervalic content of a pitch class set. Now, I want you to understand this, what I just read you, is the basis to mind control. 
Um, if you didn't understand, I'll read it again. It's an interval vector. In a musical set theory, an array that expresses the intervalic content of a pitch class set. Now, I'm a musician. What most people don't understand about music is how powerful music is. Because music, every single note of music can be broken down into a mathematical form. Now, I want you to understand that mathematical form can be broken down into a virus and changed. You may not hear it, you may not see it, but it, it goes into your mind. And with this sequence, it can go into your cells. It can be very deadly. And I can guarantee you the New World Order, witches, these Nazi scientists, oh, they know this. I mean, this is why they have silent sound, and this was the basis of them developing silent sound, which is a high pitch, so high that your normal ear doesn't hear it. It's kind of like a dog whistle, but it still goes into your body and your cells, and it still affects you. Now... I know that um, during the John Todd video where he talks about music spells, he talks about the um, mastering that goes on with all the music in the music industry. If you get a contract and if you get it mastered, to have something mastered doesn't mean to have it better quality. It means to your record will be cursed with demons because all mastering takes about a month. The reason why it takes a, a month to do is because the Illuminati, witches, and warlocks, and CIA scumbags that run the music industry, when it goes through mastering, the master tapes are taken into a Freemasonic lodge and put on a pentagram, and demons are called into that master tape. That's what mastering is. So the interval vector is used in this way with demonology and all the other vector viruses and all this other stuff. And so they can create digital viruses, sound viruses, um, incantations, and all this other stuff. It just depends on how it is used. But I want you to understand that the, the interval vector is the basis of the musical curses and spells. If you want um, any more information on it, um, look up John Todd musical spells and he'll, he'll break it down all to you about exactly what the Freemason occultists do um, when they master um, music in the music industry, which it's all witchcraft. It's all about um, putting demons in music to um, curse everybody and to put demonic entities in their life because there's too many people for them to do this, so they're just going to sit back and let the vector do it. Hmm? So anyway, let's move on. <clears throat> P-vector. The tensor obtained by taking linear combinations of the wedge product of a P-tangent vector. Probability vector. In statistics, excuse me, in statistics, a vector which non-negative entries that sum to one. Spin vector, a sp or spinor, is an element of complex vector space introduced to expand the notion of spatial vector. Tuple, or ordered list of numbers, sometimes used to represent a vector. Unit vector, a vector in a normed vector space whose length is 1. Vector fields. Now, I want you to understand before I get into vector fields. The Earth has a magnetic field around it and with NASA and all the other warlocks they have done things to affect this magnetic field in a very negative way. They have set up machines 
to do this to, to basically put a virus into Earth's magnetic field, literally. And then in turn, they do this to our magnetic field. Humans, we all have our personal magnetic field and frequency, and this is how they hack into us, and they know this. This, this um, magnetic frequency that we all um, omit around us is the way into us, because it is our personal signature frequency that we all put out, and it's everyone is different. It is based on um, your brain waves and basically, you know, what you're thinking and what kind of person you are. If you're a negative person, you're putting out more of a negative magnetic field. If you're a positive person, you're putting out more of a positive magnetic field. And I can guarantee you the, the people that are putting out the positive magnetic fields are the most targeted people by NASA and the, you know, NWO, Warlock, Freemason, Psychopaths. So, back to vector fields. Vector field, a construction in vector calculus, which associates a vector to every point in the subset of equity space. So, magnetic field, Earth's magnetic field, our magnetic field, because we also have an oversoul which extends out into space, which most people um, don't really understand, but we all have that, and basically there you go. Now you can understand exactly what they're doing and how they're doing it with the vector. So moving on. How Mentolian vector field, a vector field defined for any energy function of Hamatolian. Killing vector field, a vector field of a Ruminian manifold. Soliodo vector field, a vector field with zero divergence. Vector potential, a vector field whose curl is a given vector field. Vector flow, a set of closely related concepts of the flow determined by a vector field. Vector space, vector space, a mathematical structure made up of vectors, objects which may be added with other vectors <coughs> or multiple or multiplied by a scalar value. Euclidean vector space. An n-dimensional space which notions of distance and angles that obey the Euclidean relationships. Now, I want you to understand, people, this is how these witches and warlocks pass through interdimensional space vector. Um, interdimensional space and parallel um, realms and all that stuff, oh, it's very real. Um, people tend to think things like Stargate and other stuff, it's fake. Well, I'm basically reading you the science of the people. So get hip to the game. It's, it's very, very real. And this is, this is actually um, vector science. So let's see where were we. Okay, so dual vector space, a vector space consisting of a linear functional one another given vector space graded vector space, a type of vector space that includes the extra construct of gradation. Normed vector space, a vector space on which a norm is defined. Ordered vector space, a vector space equipped with a partial order. Super vector space, name for a 
z2 graded vector space, sympletic vector space, and vector space v equipped with non generation screw symmetric bilinear form. Topo logic, <coughs> excuse me, topological vector space, a blend of topological structures which algebraic concept of a vector space, manipulation of vector fields and space, vector bundles, a topological construct which makes precise an idea of a family of vector space perimetized by another space. Vector calculus, a branch of my ma <coughs> excuse me, mathematics concern which differentiation of integration of vector fields. Vector analysis, a free online book on vector <coughs> calculus, first published in 1901 by Edwin Bidwell Wilson. Vector decomposition refers to decomposing a vector of Rn to several vectors which linearly independent. And that is Rn, Rn DNA, Rn A, Rn. So anyway, again biological. Vector differential, or del, is a vector differential operator represents, <clears throat> represented by the NABLA symbol. NABLA symbol. Mm. Okay, stop it here right quick. Now, did, did anybody catch what I just read? Vector differential, or del, is a vector differential operation represented by the NABLA symbol. Okay, now, we all know who we're up against, right? Well, I do. We are up against Freemasons, witches, warlocks, Satanists, occultists, Nazis, warlocks, witches, you know, the most evil scums of the scum of the earth. Now, these people rape children. These people sacrifice children. These people steal the life force of children just to sustain their own life force because they're entities with actually no life. Now they have an organization that they've started called NABLA. It is a group of pedophiles that want to make pedophilia legal. Now do you understand what I'm saying? Maybe it's a coincidence. I don't think so. Because this is what witches are all about. And this is what vector worship is all about. These, I'm breaking down just the different assets of it and how this science has been used. And I want you to understand that the Nazis, when they went into France, if you've never seen 90 Days of Sodom, I don't recommend you see it because you will only be able to watch it once. It is what the Nazis did to the French children when they came to France. In a nutshell, I'm going to explain it. It is the most single-handedly, probably disgusting thing you will ever see. It is the most heartbreaking thing you will ever see. And it will give you such a true and horrific picture of what these pedophiles are and what they do to kids and what the Nazis did to kids back then. That was back then, during World War II. And think how much their science has advanced, or more or less how much they've stolen.
and what they do to kids now, you can't imagine. So when you understand a film like 90 Days of Sodom, and basically what the Nazis did was they went in to France and they gathered up all of the politicians and all of the sovereign and royal French kids. And then they took them to huge mansions that still the Rothschilds own today. And they put them through sex slave training, literally. And one of the most disgusting things is training them and making them eat their own feces and making them like it. And then putting them through all of these sexual rituals. And then at the end of the film, basically there was supposed to be a big buildup to where they would take the kid's virginity. And instead of doing this, the kids tricked them and they actually had sex with each other. And so at the end of the film, they found out and they slaughtered all the kids. And the only one that survived this, this slaughter was a young boy. And that was because the, the head Nazi had chosen to take his virginity before all the others. And literally, the people that, um, the director that made this film killed himself. So that was 90 Days of Sodom. And that was pedophilia. And I want you to understand that the, the new pedophilia pedophilia organization that's trying to legalize pedophilia is called NAPLA. So again, let me read this again. The vector differential or DEL is a vector differential operation represented by the NAPLA symbol. NAPLA. Okay, so moving on. Vector Laplacinium. The vector Laplace operation detonated by Nabla A2 uh, is a differential operator defined over a vector field. Vector Notation common notation used when working with vectors. Vector operation, a type of differential operation used in vector calculus. Vector product, a cross product and operation on two vectors in three-dimensional Euclidean space producing a third three-dimensional Euclidean vector. Vector projection, also known as the vector resolute, a mapping of one vector onto another. Vector value functions, a mathematical function that maps real numbers to vectors. Vectorization Mathematics, a linear transformation which converts a matrix into the column vector. In computer science. Now, I want you to understand that the transhuman agenda in computer science is incorporating all this. Man in the machine. DNA control. DNA um, manipulation, super soldiers, all that stuff. I mean, this is this is it, you know. So let's get into the computer science of it. A one-dimensional array vector C plus plus C sequence container C plus plus number vector a type in the C++ standard template library reference to a sequence container. And when I say plus plus, I mean actually two plus signs. 
Now, I want people to understand that the, the plus sign, which has been around before the cross, and the plus sign was a sign of positivity. That's what it means, positive. So the cross, which is a derivative from the actual positive sign, which when the Romans just kind of moved the middle intervening section of the plus sign up and started crucifying people. And then that's where you get the crucifix. But understand that there's a difference between the crucifix and the cross. See, the cross is, the normal cross is a plus sign for positivity. And then when you um, pervert or upvert the cross, it becomes a crucifix. And then which, this is when people were crucified on it. And it's all about symbolism and tricking things and, and perverting things and people not understanding terminology and where things come from and how everything that God made really started out as positive. And then these scientists and other people and witches and warlocks came along and took these very old symbols and started you know, basically spilling blood on it and getting you to worship it. This is why you should never pray to a crucifix because it's not a sign of um, good. It's not a sign of God's Son. It's, it's a false um, idol. And it is not God's Son. When you see a crucifix, you see a blonde, blue-eyed Jesus, which there is no Jesus in existence. It's a false pagan God. Um, because even in Christian's Bible, which I point out in a lot of my videos, it says these key things. It says the beast was allowed to enter the church for a thousand years. Well, what do you think he did? He changed everything. He changed everything so the people would, you know, worship him and not God. I mean, that was the whole purpose of, you know, the beast entering the church for a thousand years to tempt God's people away from God. So this is exactly what he did. So people worship the crucifix. And it's a blonde-haired, blue-eyed Jesus. There was no J in pronunciation when this man walked the earth. <clears throat> His name was Yeshua. So already when you call to Jesus, you're calling in a demonic entity and not the Son of God. But people don't want to accept this because they've been doing it all their lives and so have their parents. So what does that mean for them? Well, ask yourself what it means for you. And... Ask yourself, is it, is it really worth it to, to change this view? Do you really want to give God's son some respect? Well, I hope you do. Um, and another thing about the plus sign and what it says in the Bible is he had feet of bronze and hair of wool. Again, in every King James Bible. But then people turn to the blonde haired blue eyed crucifix. This is how these Nazi Jesuits have tricked people by even changing the color, the name, even the eye color of God's son to their white supremacy, blonde hair, blue eyes. Do you think it's a coincidence? Do you think it's a coincidence that Nazi NASA has vector symbolism all over it and all of the, the white power space aeronautical um, space programs worship vector? It's all one nice little Nazi white supremacy lie. But anyway, let's continue on with the vectors. Vector clock. An algorithm for generating a potential ordering of events in a distributed system and detecting casualty violations. Vector malware. Again, vector malware. Wow. So I wonder how much the CIA and NSA and FBI and all the information horror gatherers use vector malware. All of them. They're thieves. They want to steal your ideas. They want to steal your information in your computers. They want to steal everything. 
because they're stupid. They're really fucking stupid. So, I mean, how do you get smart? Well, you do what the Nazis did. Steal everything and say it's yours. White supremacy. Okay. Vector malware. Methods used by computer viruses and malware to propagate themselves. Well, now you know where it comes from, people. Distance vector routing protocol, a class of routing protocols used in packet switch networks for computer communications. Dope vector, a data structure used to store information about an array. Feature vector, in pattern recognition and machine learning and in dimensional vector of numerical features that represent some object. Intelization vector used in cryptography. Interrupt vector, the location in memory of interrupt handling routine. That is basically the um, basis of encryption and their encryption codes and all the stuff that they use is based on vectorism. Vector game refers to any video game that uses a vector graphic display which is all video games which is brainwashing and can all the vector transhuman agenda and all that stuff can be used pretty easily in video games and this is why the government have launched their whole drone thing and you know I don't know if you've seen Ender Game where they had the kids going through you know sequences and sequences and basically the kid thought it was just a, a game and it ended up being the real deal hmm. sound familiar government so anyway a vector graphics images defined by geometric primitives as access to bitmaps. Scalable vector graphics, a family of specifications of XML based file format for describing two dimensional vector graphics. Hmm, two dimensional. 3D holographics. There we go. We know um, in the industry right now that they're extremely doing like crazy Michael Jackson graphics, Tupac holographics on stage, and you can't even like really tell that they're like not there. And now they're trying to introduce vector holographics into the mainstream, but what they're failing to tell you is how can this be used to inject a virus into your subconscious using vectorism technology and directly affecting your cells. Hmm. Think about that. So, vector graphic editor. Computer programs that allow users to compose and edit vector graphics. Vector makeup language and XTML, XML language used to produce vector graphics support vector machine and machine learning, a supervised learning method used for classification of regression. Wow. So, I guess that's how to keep us stupid, huh? <laughs> so, anyway. Vector space model. An algebraic model for representing objects as vectors of identifiers vector dash 06c a computer developed in the ussr was of russia so russia which has vector symbolism all over their space programs too i'm going to give you a little history about russia because me and russia have just like this this relationship it's kind of I can't really explain it. I mean, the Russian women are just, oh. But anyway, 
um, the vector in Russia, you need to understand that it was the Russian scientist that basically broke down this science before the Nazis, before the Americans, because the Nazi NASA organization had to literally fake the landing on the moon. And so then the Russian scientists said, ah, oh, we're going to give up, our rockets are no good. And so they, it, they actually tricked Russia, again, which they always do. I mean, Russia keeps falling for this shit of disinformation. It's like, dear guys, when are you going to fucking wake up? So anyway, <laughs> but that's what they do. Um, so the Russian scientists <clears throat> that actually went into space first um, were the Russian rockets that the Russian scientists built that NASA actually purchased from Russia with its Russian scientists that actually worked and NASA got wind of it and that Russia was about to beat them into outer space and so they, they did the whole you know fake landing on the moon this is exactly why they did it so they could trick Russia and then purchase their rockets and their scientists and build a actual you know space shuttle that goes into outer space or, or a rocket. So this was all NASA science. So again, I want you to understand um, the Bolsheviks and where the Nazis come from. They actually come from Russia. And Russians know this, but most people don't understand um, what actually happened with the Bolsheviks. Now, the Bolsheviks started communism, and they wanted to control the world with communism. But Stalin got too powerful, and he basically told them to fuck off, and I'm going to kill you. So then they got the fuck out of Russia, then they went to Sweden, and started the New Temple Order and started basically what we know as New Age Racism. And then from there, they went into Germany and they started basically the racist writings of the first Nazi movement, started the Templar's Order and started the big occultism movement um, which came out of Germany. So again, this this is all basic history of you know the Nazis actually coming out of Russia and, and Russia knows this. This is why the Russians are hunting the Bolsheviks. But one of the things that um, I would like people to understand is one of the reasons why Russia keeps falling for these stupid Nazi tricks is because the Nazis came from them. They know them just, just as good as they do, and same with the Russians. So they're actually like, you know, combating themselves. But, you know, having vector symbolism all over your space programs doesn't really help the situation. <clears throat> but anyway, in biology, vector epidemiology and organism often and intervertebrated arthropod that transmits a pathogen from reservoir to host. Now, that's basically a virus. Now, if you had a virus with a um, digital encoding, which I explained to you earlier, which is um, the computer science of it, which is the transhuman agenda, and then combine the biology of the vector, which they are doing, you would have something pretty dangerous and pretty much out of your control. And it, it's pretty scary what would become of it. 
vector molecular biology, vehicles used to transfer genetic material to a target cell such as plasmic vector, binary vector, a cloning vector used to generate transgenic plants, cloning vector, expression vector, a plasmic specifically used for protein expression in the target. Now, I'm going to stop it here. Now, Russia, they said they had evidence that the Hitler that they thought they had killed was a clone. Um, in the bomb shelter, supposedly, where they said Hitler died. Now, I know that through my personal studies, I did find out that the Nazis did perfect cloning them. That is what all the experimentations on the Hebrew bloodline was for. Now, what people really don't understand is why they specifically experimented upon the Hebrew bloodline. Now, I want you to know that the Hebrew bloodline, the real Hebrew bloodline, not the bullshit Zionists that are, you know, in Israel right now, they're Ashkenazi um, Jews, which means white Jews. They're not the descendants of the original Hebrews. Never will, never have been. But the fact of the matter is when they went to France, and the French are sovereign people, this is why you have the short French women with the light eyes and curly hair and dark skin. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful Aboriginal people. Those are French. French are descendants from the first man. And it's proven because they have Kashite stones all over France, which the Kashite stones are the stones um, from Easter Island, and they're petrified stones. I, I have a few myself, which I dug up in France, um, and they're petrified, petrified arrowheads. I have petrified arrowheads. And this means um, stones predating um, the dinosaur era. So this should let you know that these people have been around for a long time. And the Nazis knew this. So the Nazis went in and started experimenting on specifically the, the sovereign people of the land trying to break the, the DNA code which they did, which they broke it through cloning, which they did by experimenting on first man. See, people don't really talk about this and the, the Nazi movement, but I want people to understand this is exactly what they did. So anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Shell vector, a vector, usually a plasmid construct so that it can propagate in two different host species, viral vector, a virus modified to deliver foreign genetic material into a cell. Now I'm going to stop it here. I want you to understand, um, going back to the sovereign issue. How do you steal DNA and try to make it your own? I just read you the process. It is said that there are many things in this world that were put here by our sovereign ancestors that only respond to our DNA, which I mean our DNA is I mean my DNA. I'm a sovereign. My people were of the first people that were on earth. The Nazis and the blonde haired blue eyed people, you know, they were not. Because the fact of the matter is if your ancestors were here on earth, as long as mine, your skin would be dark due to sun exposure, due to melatonin buildup, due to that is what the body naturally does scientifically when you have exposure to the sun, which you have to have exposure to the sun because everything grows under the sun, fruits, vegetables, trees, animals, etc. So. That's scientifically proven. So then when you get into um, what they've actually done and what they've actually done to the sovereign people 
and why they've actually done it and why they go through great, 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 great extreme efforts to actually steal our DNA, copy our DNA, say, create, you know, cloning cells and other stuff that, that combine with theirs. And I'm not even going to get into the nanotechnology that they're using to do this. It is absolutely insane. So, anyway, I just want people to actually understand what the transhuman agenda is, is really, really about. And what I think it's about, because I think, I actually, I know that there's a lot of ancient things on this earth that only respond to sovereign DNA. But the Nazis, they realize, you know, it recognizes the impurities of their DNA and it won't respond to them. And they trip some things into working for them and with them, but it, it's not holding up. And even right now, I'm not telling you all that I know because I don't want to go into those things in this video, but um, I can assure you that, you know, this is what they're doing with their science is trying to combine and steal the sovereign DNA and trying to combine it with their own to use ancient weapons and get through, um, can I say, what can I say, ancient things that were left here to protect humanity from such wretched vile beings such as them. So, anyway, moving on. Now, I'm going to start over in the, in the cloning vector, rereading it, so I want you to understand what um, I just explained to you. Expression vector, a plasmid specifically used for protein expression in the target, which, you know, the target is usually sovereign people, targeted individuals. This is why they're targeted, because of their bloodline, because of their genes because these psychopaths are obsessed with, you know, being us and wanting us and having what we have and mixing it, and, you know, so they can sing and dance like, you know, Michael Jackson, whatever. Shuttle vector. A vector, usually a plasmid construct, so that it can propagate into different host species. So, do you understand a shuttle vector. A shuttle vector, usually a plasmic construct, so that in <clears throat> excuse me, so that it can propagate in two different host species. So I want you to understand that they, they are taking nanotechnology using a shuttle vector with four Nazi DNA, putting a nano into your body when you have sex with a woman. And that nano goes into the egg with the seed. They can start manipulation of it right then and there. This is what a shuttle vector is. Do you understand, people? This is 2014. I'm breaking it down to you. Shuttle vector. A vector usually a plasmic construct so that it can propagate in two different host species. Voila. So, viral vector. A virus modified to deliver foreign genetic material into a cell. Um, excuse me, I'm going to go back to the shuttle vector. I want people to understand some things about the shuttle vector. It's very important. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, that's pretty crazy, but this is the truth. Now, Say you're a scientist and a demonologist. Now, one of the major poisons that the CIA uses is a poison called goo. Now, the goo is an old Chinese poison used by Kung Fu masters and ninjas to poison each other and to kill each other. Now, the goo is made from the venom of a snake, a centipede, um, the most poisonous insects are put into a jar. And then the insect that is left living, maybe it's a scorpion or whatever, then the scorpion venom is taken because the one that's left living, these animals all sting each other trying to kill each other. 
So the one that survives has the strongest venom. So, did you hear what I said? And do you know what I'm about to get at? The one that survives has the strongest venom. Now, does anybody know about comic books and Spider-Man and, you know, how the Nazis pretty much invented comic books from propaganda and socialism and brainwashing kids? Comic books come from Nazis. So does anybody remember a character called Spider-Man? And the nemesis, Venom. Voila. So if you know the story of Venom and how it came about and how it came about from space and it's this dark, black, gooey stuff that came from space, um, hmm, does that sound like what I'm getting at? So back to the science of it. Now, if you were to take a microscopic piece of this goo venom, okay, and inject it into the nano because goo holds a demonic possession of a demon that is controlled by a programmer. And the programmer, if that programmer is a warlock or a sorcerer, voila. If that programmer is a key maker or a gatekeeper that is using demonic goo, voila, you understand what I'm getting at. Now, I don't know if you understand what a key maker is or a gatekeeper. Well, in witchcraft, it is a person that holds the keys to. And whatever I mean by keys to is usually they hold the keys to parts of your mind. During mind control, they specifically insert goo triggers, which is demonic goo, that sits in specific parts of your brain to hold down access to specific abilities, knowledge, etc. This is the programming of a mind control assassin, and this is basically how they do it. Now, then when you get into um, the process of affecting a child in the womb and starting this process and infecting them with the goo demon, and then continuously doing this as a child and as the demon gets stronger within the child, because it was put in the child, you know, in the womb, this is why um, a lot of people talk about um, what the medical industry is doing to kids when they're born. And um, a lot of people say that a lot of the super mind control, super soldiers and assassins were experimented on in the womb. So again, going back to the shuttle vector, whatever it was, a shuttle nano vector. We are in 2014. So if you know about the nano process and programming, it can be programmed to basically do anything and to rewrite your DNA and all, all kinds of stuff. So all they have to do is put a little nano demon right in the center of the little um, nano particle and there you go. So you're welcome to Vectorism 2014. So um, let's move on. The viral vector, a virus modified to deliver a foreign genetic material into a cell. Voila. What's viral? What's a vector? Goo. Oh, and another thing um, in the Stargate program, you have the goo ah -oo. Do you think that that's a coincidence that they are just a big parasitical parasite that just comes in you and control like every part of you? Hmm. That's basically demonic possession people. So, vector can be used in so many different ways, and trust me, they're doing it. And I want people to actually understand, because once you actually understand the process and everything, it starts to become clear that epiphany of, oh, shit. I understand. Wow. Wow. You know? So anyway, um, an organism that can disperse vector and disperses 
a reproductive structure, e.g. seed, spores, or pollen of a different species. Okay, I'm going to read this again because this is right about what I've just explained to you. So, a dispersal vector, an organism that carries a... <clears throat> wow. Anyway, it's a vector that basically does what I just explained. Dispersal vector. An organism that carries and dispenses reproductive structure, e.g. seeds, spores, or pollen of a different species. Now, when you get into the goo poison and Chinese medicine, well, the goo poison is also used for mind control, heavy mind control. Once you're poisoned with goo, um, you can be made into a sex slave. Um, the mind does not function correctly. You can be controlled by hypnosis really easily. Um, and you don't even know it. And if this stuff is introduced into your system as a child, and then a CIA agent basically comes and starts programming you at the age of like two, which you know, nablo pedophiles, hello. Um, you are completely responsive to it and you wouldn't even know it. So again, this is the dispersal vector. An organism that carries and dispenses and reproduces structure, e.g. seeds, spores, and pollen of a different species. There you go. So now you understand this um, dispersal vector is the the core of the transhuman agenda. The core of it. So, the pollinator, the biotic agent vector that moves pollen from the male anthers of a flower to the female stigma of a flower to accomplish fertilization. Okay, pollinator. Hello. We're, everybody knows, you know, all of the, you know, big French painters. What did they paint, ladies? Big, beautiful flowers, pictures of the representation of the vagina. The pollinator. Do you think it's a coincidence? Hmm. Read it again. Pollinator. The biotic agent vector that moves pollen from a male anthers of a flower to the female stigma of a flower to accomplish fertilization. So, now you know, um, you know, the, the big the big man of the transhuman agenda is the pollinator vector. So anyway, moving on. Vector, a biological research center in Koslov, Nebraska, <clears throat> Novosibirsk. It's spelled N-O-V-O-S-I-B-I-R-S-K. That's a hard one. Oblast, Russia. <laughs> In business, Vector Capital, a U.S.-based private equity investment firm funded in 1997. Hmm, I wonder what those guys are doing. Okay. Vector Informatic, a software tool and component provider for development of embedded electronics. Can anybody say... Probably Transhuman Agenda Company, maybe. Mm. Vector Engineering, a company that specializes in the applications of civil engineering, hydrogenology, geology, and geotechnical and geological engineering. <gasps> wow. So, 
vector engineered. That's your transhuman abomination against God company. So then we got vector graphics, an early manufacturer of the 8 bit microcomputer. <gasps> so, what's a microcomputer, people? Nanotechnology. So, vector graphics. Nanotechnology, microcomputer, 8 bit. <sighs> so, anyway, moving on. Vector Group, a publicly traded holding company run by Bennett S. LeBow. And I can probably guarantee you he is a occultist big time. Big time. Now, Vector Limited, a New Zealand gas and electricity supplier. Vector Marketing, Marketing Arm and Alicast Corporation. Vector Motors, an automobile manufacturer. And I have to say, I really loved the Vector cars growing up. The sound system in those cars were freaking incredible. So Vector M12, a vehicle designed by Vector Motors based on Lamborghini Diablo. Ooh. Do you think that's a coincidence? The Vector M12. Okay. Now, is uh, is anybody getting what I just read? You can see I saw this, but I'm going to say Majestic 12. M12. Vector M12. Has anybody heard of, ever heard of the Majestic 12? The Freemason organization. <laughs> so, again, let me read it again. The Vector M12, a vehicle designed by Vector Motors based on the Lamborghini Diablo. Okay, Diablo is word for devil. Okay. <laughs> so, now you get exactly what the fuck these people are. The Vector W2, a concept car created by Vector Motors. Vector W8, a production car produced by Vector. Vector WX3, a prototype automobile created by Vector Motors in 1992. Vector SRV8, a prototype automobile created by Vector Motors in 1999. They just keep creating all of these prototypes and never releasing them. Vector Company, a telecommunicate, <coughs> excuse me, a telecommunications company based in Poland. Hmm. Poland. So anyway, I'm not going to even get into all the harp experiments that were done um, by Russia and Romania and Poland. Could this be like one of their subsidiary companies that was, you know, one of the biggest parts of it? Hmm. Anyway, and entertainment. Now, I would like to draw you back to what I said before about um, musical spells and what John Todd revealed and how every song in the industry, unless it's an independent label and you put it out yourself, every track has gone through the demonic possession mastering process. And that's exactly what it is. Again, they put every master, which is master tape, on a full moon in the master Freemason music temple. And they ask demons to come into the master. So it can, can continuously possess people. This is so they can sit back and, you know, not have to cast all those spells, billions and trillions and trillions of spells on um, the, the innocent and blind. You know, it's just too much problem. They'll just, um, you know, hey, Vector, get to it. Woo! And just put it on um, fully automated and there you go. Instant demonic possession. So, this is music industry. In entertainment, Vectors, a song by the band Area 11. Wow, okay. 
A song by Area 11. I've never heard of Area 11, but I do know that there is the Gateway ED 1111, which is um, a gateway to interdimensional parallel self. And then there's Area 51. So here we go with the song by the band called Area 11. I wonder if there's any correlations. Vector artists a Nigerian rap artist. Vector Band, a 1980s new wave rock band. Vector Game, a 1970 board game. Vector Magazine, the critical journal of the British. Ooh, the Nazis. Okay, so they got their own magazine. Science Fiction Association's Vector Novel, a 19... 99 novel by Robin Cook. Vector 13, a comic strip in the 2080 anthology Vector Lovers. Manic <coughs> manicure used by British electronic music producer Martin Wheeler. Wonder if Martin Wheeler is a freebase. Hmm. Vector Prime, a Star Wars novel written by um, R.A. Salvatore Vector Man, a 1995 game for Sega Genesis platform. Fictional characters and elements. Vector Battle, Angel, Alita, a character in the battle, Angel, Alita, Mega Series. Vector Comics, a vector in the Marvel comic universe, Vector the Crocodile, a character in the Sonic and Hedgehog video game series, Vector Prime Transformers. Ooh, Vector Prime. Okay, I'm going to stop it. I have to tell you people, Transformers is the most idiotic, stupid, um, thing ever made. Everybody thinks it's so cool. Well, it's retarded because let me tell you why. You have this robotic super race that's supposed to come down and protect the humans. And now you have all these Transformer movies. So let's just say they were real, okay? Now, if the Transformers were real and they were here on Earth, um, if you had that much power and that much knowledge, um, the problem is, what, like 5% of the vector occult and witchcraft? Um, why don't you just go in, wipe them out, and humanity saved? <gasps> Gee, how long did that take? Oh, five seconds? So, then you would protect humanity, but no, 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 they can't do this. They have to um, hunt for the Decepticons and fight them and not send like one Transformer to wipe out the other guys that are in cahoots with the Decepticons and nip the Decepticons in the bud because if they don't have evil humans to work with, then they're screwed. <gasps> no, that can't happen. Why can't this happen? Because then there wouldn't be any room for um, another Transformers movie like number five or stupid idiots buying Transformer toys. Mm. I mean, the franchise would be over. The story would be over. Because Transformers just doesn't make any fucking sense. So all you people that are up Transformers ass, wake the fuck up. It's the stupidest shit ever. And again, Vector Prime. Okay? There you go. So, anyway. One of the original 13 Transformers created by Primus, Vector Prime. Again, more brainwashing, more Nazi comics, space, NASA, buy our toys, watch our movies, get brainwashed, blah, 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 blah. More stupid occultist scientific bullshit. Okay, Vector Sigma, a computer in the Transformers universe. Septima Vector, a character in the Harry Potter universe. 
Vector, a location in the video game Final Fantasy um, V1, Vector Industries, an organization in the Ex Xeno Saga video game series. Okay, is, is anybody starting to see what I'm seeing here? Um, ooh, my favorite. Going back to Vector G.I. Joe, a fictional vehicle from the G.I. Joe Battle Force 2013 toy line. A Vector toy in G.I. Joe. Wow. Vector, a Baryon Emperor from Yu-Gi-Oh! ZF. So it's from Yu-Gi-Oh! Vector Class, a beginner racing class and wipeout video game series. Victor Vector Perkins, the main anthologist of the 2010 animated, <coughs> excuse me, animated film Despicable Me. Oh wow. Hmm. Vector, a character in the video game Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Now, let me stop it there. Need I tell anybody the plot of Resident Evil and what it's all about and the Umbrella Company? But I will point out that the HSBC Bank, who owes me a shitload of money, has the same logo as the Umbrella Company, which HSBC Bank is owned by my wretched... Um, Cousins, Rothschilds, and the Windsors. Now, <clears throat> well, I'm going to get into this because I want my fucking money. When I was in Paris, I went to HSBC Bank. And I went into HSBC Bank. And it was the main bank right up the street from the Rothschild Manor. And I went in and talked to an investor and I took my straw man bond. To him. I told him who I was. I gave him a copy of my birth certificate. He was completely blown. So I'm going to explain to you about the birth certificate right quick and go completely off the subject of people need to know my story. Um, so here I was sitting with a, with a stock investor that works at the, the Rothschild Bank in France blowing his mind, showing him on my birth certificate that it is a stock and a bond and that it's worth obscene amount of money. And I told him I wanted to access that money and open an account and could he please look into it and he took my number, took a copy of the birth certificate and um, he told me he'd call me. Three days later, my phone was stolen by a pickpocket by the name of Stephen Binion. He is a Nazi CIA assassin. So he stole my cell phone. He's also a rapist and uh, he has kids all over the world. Um, basically, he pickpocketed me. I remembered his face um, when I was shown who he was from a ex-CI agent by the name of Laurel Aston. So, the HSBC Bank, the following week after I took in my birth certificate to the Rothschilds, this big, huge, huge, huge ordeal started where um, the, the head administrators of the HSBC Bank got fired. The reason why they got fired is because this stockbroker looked into my straw man bond and my account, which is under Mr. D. Ewing, um, and he found out that these accounts had been were being regularly accessed by the Rothschilds and traded in secret on the black market. So then he found out the guy sitting at the head of the bank approved all these transactions. So then, you know, after 
I brought this to the forefront, they came after me. I didn't get my money. I got my arm broken. So to the French, I want my money. You know what happened. I'm in Cancun, Mexico right now. And I'm, I'm sick of the bullshit. You know how much money I'm worth. And you know who my family is. And who I'm related to and what they do. These, these wretched, vile human beings who have, what I have like 1% of their blood because they raped into my ancestry. You know? So anyway, I, I don't miss it and I don't need it. I want my title instated and in actuality because I'm a sovereign Blackfoot Olmec. Um, makes me more royal than them in their whole little, in my pinky, in their whole bloodline. And they know this. So they've been trading this money in secret, hoarding and coveting over me in secret. Because this is a fact of the matter is, is, is what they do. Now again, I want to point out that the HSBC Bank, their, their symbol is the same as the Umbrella Company. And Resident Evil. And Resident Evil is all about the transhuman agenda. Now I'm wondering, uh, could there be like underground facilities under all the HSBC banks? All the HSBCA banks? Who knows? But the fact of the matter is, these witches cannot do these things without telling us they're doing them. See, this is their trick. They put all this stuff in our face, and we're clueless about it, and they know it, but they're like, see, see God, we're, we're telling them that they're doing it, and, and they're just playing video games, and they're loving it. McDonald's look. And again, McDonald's, Golden Arches, fucking evil. So again, Vector, a character in the video game Resident Evil Operations Raccoon City. So. Now you understand a little bit about my story, so let's move on. Vector, an invisible arm, tele telepathically controlled as a weapon by a Nicloni in the series Elf Lead. Wow, that's pretty interesting. Vector manipulation, an ability held by the character accelerator who can redirect and control any Eclodine vector or vector of physics rendering him as the most powerful person in the world in the series of Aru Majitsu no index to Taora or Reglan or rail or sorry railgun. So, wow, pretty interesting, huh? Other uses. Aerodyne system vector. Ultralight aircraft lift vector and upward force vector on aircraft thrust vectoring the ability of an aircraft or other vehicle to directly the thrust from its main engine. Um, can anybody say the Harrier jet? Ooh. Okay, so Hall Vector number one glider. Light verb or vector in grammar, a verb practicing in complex um, pre prediction. Parker Vector, a family of pins, pins gear vector, military patrol vehicle. Chris Vector, a prototype 45 ACP submachine gun developed by Transformational Defense Industries. The Vector, the student-run newspaper of the New Jersey Institute of Technology. I wonder if it's owned and run and started by Freemasons. Interval Vector. A term in musical set theory describing the interval content of a given set. And again, um, set 
being, you know, the word for the demonic god Set, Egyptian. Anyway, they worship that too. Vector Food, a cereal manufactured by Cal Kellogg's. And Kellogg's also being a GMO company. Think it's a coincidence? GMO, genetic manipulation, um, genetically modified foods. Mm -hmm. Vector Arena, an arena for sports and um, cultural events in Auckland, New Zealand. Now, let's see. Could the Vector Arena have anything to do with all the sacrificial rituals going on during all the Super Bowls, halftime shows? How about we ask Beyonce about that? Sporting the devil ring in her last show and doing all that devil worshiping. Vector Map, a vector-based collection of geographic information system data about Earth at various levels of detail. Vector Journal of Culture and Technology in the dynamic vector <coughs> um, vernacular an online journal vector, a variant of Saab 93. I actually like Saab cars. That is that of evil vector of that. That is evil and used for evil to be instantly destroyed and time locked forever and sealed instantly even if upon any form of return of manifestation at any time or no time and in between time permanent and instant. Now I wrote that for all the evil vectorism out there because this shit just needs to be locked down and controlled. <clears throat> so anyway Thanks for your time, and I hope this video will shine some light on people. And I want people to understand this one concept. Now, we're in the age of technology, and they heavily use vectorism um, on all of us. So, me, by putting this resonance out and educating people about evil vectorism, will allow the people in the future to sustain a more positive future that these things will not carry on on humanity because no one has actually taken the time to put it all together like I just did. If, if there's someone out there, um, put, please post the link under the video. I'd love to listen to it. But as of now, I'm the only one. So um, I am... It's a chaos. Turntable, it's DJ MC. Thanks for your time. I hope you um, like the video, share it with a friend, and I hope it brings some enlightenment and clarity and deep understanding because people, you got to understand, once your brain starts to understand what's going on, it starts building differences. I don't want this. I don't need this. I don't want this done to me. I don't want this coming into me. But before this process of the brain starts, the brain has to become aware of what's going on. So this is why I'm doing this video so people can actually hear and these things resonate into them and sits in their brain so their brain starts to wake up and the epiphany just like happens and it goes boom like a bomb exploding um, in their brain and all of a sudden this fast clarity takes over like a wave because this is what they're scared of they're scared of people understanding and once you understand you're going to be like oh my god they're so fucking stupid and I'm just I can't believe I didn't see it but now you see it and I'm taking the time to show you so um, to the French Foreign Legion and HSBC Bank I want my freaking money um, I'm not that hard to find. I mean, you're like one of the richest banks in the world. So, uh, hello. So anyway, walk in the light, stay intelligent, and please, please, don't create any more idiots. I mean, they could one day possibly rip apart the universe with this technology. 
And that's why I'm doing this. So, peace.